hell is going on with Pete? He's not himself. Go help him. This was our dream. I'm not going to lose him. We're going to kill the world. Central Park Reservoir. The water system. Pumping goo everywhere, adding more and more people to the hive mind. If all those symbiotes get out of Manhattan... Goodbye, Earth. Hello, planet goo. The meteorite is the source of all the power, right? Creating goo, creating symbiotes. But it was useless until Harry repaired it. Yeah. And that particle accelerator is what damaged it in the first place. Cut off a piece at low power. Right, so what if we crank the power up? Like way past 11. Might destroy it. And free everyone connected to the hive mind. Theoretically. But that reservoir's gotta be mobbed with symbiotes. And you know Harry's not gonna let that rock out of his sight. Unless he sees something he wants more. Me. Just, you know, for illustrative purposes. Harry's still Harry. He thinks he's healing the world. But the dream isn't complete without... His best friend beside him. I can lead Harry away from the meteorite. And I can handle all the symbiotes. While I grab the space rock. For illustrative purposes. All right. Fire up the accelerator. No more hive mind. World saved. We all get churros? Theoretically. Pete, what Connor said about Harry being too far gone. If you can't save him, are you won't ready? come to that. You two will be able to destroy the rock in time. Let's heal the world. For real this time. Somewhere in that thing? So are Harry and his friends. Here. I figured you could use a sonic touch. <sighs> They're just standing there. What are they waiting for? Look, I can't thank you both enough. For everything. Come on, bro. We're the spider team. <sighs> Don't anyone forget it? Hey, buddy! You gonna sit in there and play with your pet rock all night? you and me, Harry. Like we always wanted. Our gift will finally be yours. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> You're gonna have to catch me first.
You wanted a story, Watson.
sure your plus one isn't invited to our high school reunion, Harry? Harry?
Why do you keep fighting us? You're not giving me a choice! Whoa, symbiote's dropping in. Stay calm. Take him out one at a time. Not working. Get free Harry with more anti venom.
doesn't matter what you do to me. I'm never gonna heal the world with you. Not like this. The meteorite. You took it from us. Holy shit. I didn't expect this. He's only got one health left. I mean, I can probably get him. What do I do? Right there. Where's the po my powers, man? This is really shocking. Miles fighting Venom at the end. <laughs> Holy crap. I had a feeling they'd do something like that, but not. You don't totally. care about us. You don't know us. The blue stuff to slow him down. I know you talked to your mom, just like I talked to my dad. Remember? What's he saying right now? That we are so close! Take the 
Get you away from that thing! We got one more HP le bar left. He's got. Got him.
Indeed. No, we don't. It'll kill them. And then it'll kill you. Let's heal the world, Pete. Together.
here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. some room. I don't know if it's going to work, but I got to try. Pulse is weak. We gotta move. What have you done? What have you done to him? I'm so sorry. I'm coming with you. Wait. There are traces of brain activity, but his chances of coming back are very slim. Just keep him alive. Get the G serum ready. ASAP. For the last few years, tragedy has tried to tear the city apart. But we somehow kept going. We battled sickness, evil, Cataclysm. We are tired, anxious, stressed, numb. But we have never lost hope. The city needs to heal. We're all ready to return to normal, but what is normal? What if it no longer exists? Over the last half hour, I've talked about how these events have changed me. But what about you? 
In this ongoing series, I will be talking with people throughout the city, exploring our new behaviors, new routines, new thoughts and feelings. I hope you'll join me on this journey. This has been Mary Jane Watson, and you're listening to The New Normal. Episode one, done. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. Are these good to go? In a minute, I want to show you something first. Okay. It has molasses in it. Yum, I'll take those. <laughs> Thanks again for the donation, Peter. Have you talked to Miles about? Not yet. You ready? Uh, Miles. I've been meaning to talk to you uh, about something. Uh, I mean, I have been talking to you all, all the time. It's, it's, it's great uh, to talk. So many good talks. I just haven't been talking to you about what I should have been talking to you about. Pete. Uh, wait, uh, let me start again. I got this. All of it. Go be Peter Parker for a while. Are you, are you sure? It's, it's a big city. I can handle it. As long as I can still call you for advice. You don't need it. Maybe not now, but there'll come a time. I'm here for you, always. Hey, bro. See you. What to think? I liked it. It was really good. Um, I bet we're gonna have to wait five more years for the next one. <laughs> but that's all I have to say. Um, I absolutely loved it. It was a good game. I mean, it's not the best game I've ever played, no. But man, was it good. It was fantastic. Yes. Um, what I can say is Venom. He was very threatening in this. I mean, he was threatening as hell in this Spider-Man game. 
I don't think there's anything, like any games that have been made, where Venom is this threatening. I mean, he was... It was so good. It was really good. I, I, I had some problems with it. But that's all I have to say. Um, the game also had really good combat. It, I'm going to say... It wasn't frustrating. It was really wasn't that frustrating. Um, I'm going to say... The final boss with Venom was pretty hard. I thought I was going to lose a few times. Yes. But I didn't. Craven the Hunter... Fuck, man, he was evil as hell. But what I can say is I was surprised when Venom killed him and, yeah, took him out, yeah. I mean, then Kraven wasn't the main villain in the game. Venom became the main villain. I mean, and Zomniac really did a great job of, like, making a game, you know, well, doing a part in a video game where you had to play as the villain in one part. Because when I was Venom taking out all those those people and everything, like killing all those security guards and shit, that just did not feel like Spider-Man. It felt like some other character I was playing as, and that's all I'm gonna say. Um, what what? I I like that Norman got pissed at the end too. Osborne, yes. But here's the thing, I think it was setting up the Green Goblin. For the next game i really do i think it's setting up the green goblin for the for the next game they're gonna probably make um but who knows you know that's all i can say till next time viewers uh this is gaming playthroughs out What do you want? The Spider-Men. You know who they are, don't you? Why? They ruined my son. Good. 
We all have to experience loss. Even you, Norman. What are you writing? The final chapter. You're hungry. Food's almost ready. Why don't you go show her your essay? He worked so hard on it. guy in Harlem, probably seen him volunteering in the city, helping out his city council mom, and trying to live up to his hero dad. Yeah. This is Albert. Uh, hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, and uh, <laughs> this is my daughter, Cindy. <laughs> 